Jochim. He's got Whitlow to the left. Jochim with only eyes for goal, and he's still going. Jochim! Didn't quite create in terms of playing for points. This is the real thing. Sellers. Beardsley. Albert is there again. It's a terrific try. What a shot. Well, and one day he puffs out the cheeks. Terrific save as well. Well, I think Gavin Ward with him would be as surprised as anyone. But Albert's got the cheek to even attempt a shot. He's got no right to attempt a shot from there. Look how far he's out. He must be close to 40 yards there. Corner. Albert poised to be involved again with a challenge. Oh, and just over from Cole, of course. And Hill went for the ball. Foul given. Very nearly an opening goal. Here's Beardsley. Can he provide it here? Oh! Well, it went across the goal, but more remarkably, it went across the coal. Well, you think this is a tap-in for that man, don't you? Great skill from Beardsley. But watch Cole. His immediate reaction is to head in there, Mark. As soon as Beardsley got there goes Cole. Beardsley drills it across what you expect him to do. How does Andy Cole miss it? I don't even think Andy Cole knows. Across it comes. It's a tap-in. No, his Albert has already had one superb shot. Oh, and it's running for Fox. Still Fox. It stayed out, and luck was with Leicester City. Well, if you want to know about Leicester City, this one piece of action tells you everything about why they got up last year, Martin. Because they've got a desire and a belief not to give anything up. This should be a goal. It really should be a goal. Centre half is going to be marauding forward like that. Lee. It's a good try, smothered well by Ward. But that will pick up one the header, at least Leicester picked up the loose ball. But the problem is, if they do that, there's space in behind them. And Sellers can run at the back men now. Beardsley coming in from the left, in space. Cole! That's Newcastle for you. Where they left off last season. They've started this time around, and the goal thoroughly deserved. And it really came because Leicester showed a bit more ambition in the other half of the field. Yes, he did, Mark. But watch Cole. He pulls away this way. Then he's in the front, near post, straight in there. And it's Beardsley knows he's there. I mean, there's no way he's going for goal. He has a little look. He knows Cole's going to be coming across the defenders. And Andy Cole slides it. And watch this. In he goes. In at the near post. That's where you hunt your goals if you're Andy Cole. Wasn't too disappointed by the one he missed in the first half to stop him going in. That's the sign of a good striker. Fox with the cross. That's by Howard. Courage to go on. Looks it in. Fox. Beardsley. He's through. Oh, through the goalkeeper as well. 2 0. And the double act absolutely dynamic. Cole the first set up by Beardsley. And Beardsley takes all the applause the second time himself. Look at the touch. That was the important part of it, was the take. And the rest was all about Beardsley. This ball's drilled up. Look at the way he controls it, drop in the shoulder, hit the target, make the goalkeeper save it, and you've got a chance. That was what Peter Beersley did. Look at that, shifts it, Bowen is left stranded. Now, can he finish off by hitting the target? The answer is quite emphatic, yes he can. Personal best in goals scored at a relatively late age with his tally last season of 24. Fox, Cole is in there, but the ball isn't nestling in the net for Newcastle again. For Leicester City now, and here's Hill with a free kick. A penalty, push by Peacock, I think it was, on Walsh. It's definitely what he's given it for, Mark, it's definitely what he's given it for. I thought Albert and Peacock got a bit confused, but they want to get this taken quickly, don't they? Mark Draper wants to take it quickly. Oh, and he doesn't take it successfully. Cernicek with the save.
corner to Newcastle. Beresford. Sellers. Offside. Well, I just wonder if that was inexperienced, Martin. It's a crucial moment. I think you and I were both surprised at how quickly Mark Draper put the ball in the spot, come back. But here's as we watch Peacock. There they go. Peacock now there. Get a little bit in of a toss. Well, Bear pushed the right hand on the back of Walsh. You see Mike Reed's position again. But how quickly did Draper put the ball down and want to take it? I just felt let the situation settle for a bit. That much more when you're in the losing ranks. Elliot. Anderson keeping it simple for Beresford. Elliot stayed onside. More problems for Leicester here. There's a cut back on for Beardsley. Oh, it's fumbled by Ward. Holes in there. It was not an easy one for the goalkeeper, but Peter Beardsley's a bit angry with Robbie Elliott for not responding to the call. About the American Brad Friedel. They would like to sign. They have an arrangement to sign. Sonicek saying, I'm the man in possession. Fox. Oh, and Elliott is free, coming in from the left. It nestles in for Robbie Elliott. And the substitute has rubbed it in here. 3-0. Great vision from Real Fox. Needed to see Elliott. He gets a bit of luck here. The Cole's attracted all the attention right there, isn't it? Richard Smith's tracked in. But look at that for a ball. And I tell you what, that wasn't an easy finish. Yeah, I have to give Elliot a lot of credit. He keeps it down very well indeed. Yes. Walsh. Roberts, good try. Very good try. And it's again, Cole again. Thompson. Roberts. And Cernicek was a big barrier again. But came off it from time to time to make a useful impact. Oh, look where Cernicek's gone. Well, he's going to be going in another sense. And suddenly, although they're in no danger of losing the game, it's going wrong for Newcastle. Peter Beardsley taken off, Pavel Cernicek sent off in the opening game. He was sent off in the second game last season. It comes even earlier this time around. Cernicek, who had earlier saved the penalty from Draper, now really unnecessarily chasing Joe Jim and tripping him. Well, I'll tell you what, my first reaction is, what on earth is he doing out there? You can see from the picture, Darren Peacock's within two or three yards of Julian Joe What on earth is the goalkeeper thinking of? Look at, look at Peacock. What does the goalkeeper need to be there for? He catches his foot. The referee, Andy's I don't come off. think... Hooper's coming on. But I just think, I'm not a smile, it's been a good day for Pavel Sonnichek up to that moment. What he about played Alex well. Matthew there, though? He's only just been brought on, and now tactically he has to go <laughs> off to allow Mike Hooper to play the remainder of this game in goal, unless, of course, he gets into trouble. to be Thompson Hooper not called upon Agnew worth a try oh and Hooper's fumbled it in comes Joe Chim well something for Leicester City to take away from their first game back but not a happy moment for Mike Hooper not so sure if this moved a bit certainly Hooper's body motion suggested he was moving to his right it goes back to his left he can't gather it and did dip viciously but if you're not going to gather it then you've got to push it away then he's going to his right doesn't really do anything with it didn't look to me as if he was trying to take it into his body or parry it away from goal just kind of put his arms behind it dropped down and Julian Joachim right behind it and uh, fun and games for Gavin Ward who came out to try and head it away was beaten by the bounce 
and he got away with his misjudgment.